Okay, right. folks, so today we're going to go over a Vietnamese potbelly snout versus a Cooney Cooney snout versus a red wattle. And sweetheart here is a Vietnamese potbelly purebred. She is, uh, I don't know, what are you, sweetheart? Two years old now, sweetie? Okay, so notice there are her wrinkles on her forehead. That is not from being overweight. That is actually part of her skull structure. Okay. And this is Miss Reba. Hi, Reba. Hi, Reba. How are you doing, sweetheart? And Reba, if you'll notice, does have the waddles. See the waddles under her chin? See the waddles under her chin? Hi, Reba. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. But if you'll notice, red waddles, they get six to 900 pounds. Some boars can get even 11, 1200 pounds if you let them get old enough. Uh, Reba is a purebred wed waddle. They get a much longer snout. They're known more for much bigger rooting. And uh, personality-wise, they're, they're a little more pushy. They're not as big sweethearts as coonies but reba here she was hand raised she's a she's a love bug huh reba huh reba you're a love bug huh yes you are huh baby um but they do have the waddles just like the coonies but if you'll see the snout i mean her her snout to her ears is a uh, full 12 inches easily so i don't know if you guys can see that i i know it's hard to tell on camera but she's that's a full foot between her ear and her snout and she is only eight months old okay now let's go to a purebred from champion bloodlines cooney hi boing boing hi boing boing now boing boing is out of uh jackson piggery and um, his grandpa and his dad are grand champions, like, I don't know, six or seven times over. I'd have to look it up again. Um, and Boing Boing was born with stripes, but the stripes fade. You know, it happens. But again, if you look at the skull structure, it's a lot like a pot belly in that they have the natural wrinkles. Even if they're slim or overweight, they have the wrinkles anyway. Huh, Boing Boing? But they have, instead of the pot belly, coonies have the big floppy ears. Generally very flopped over. Uh, pretty long. The ears usually meet the nose. And if you look at the nose wrinkles, it's about the same as the pot belly. And here, let's go over and look at Gus Gus. Uh, another a male Vietnamese pot belly. Hi, Gus Gus. Now, if Gus Gus... Hi, Gus Gus. Hi, Gus Gus. If Gus Gus was a coonie, instead of the tusk lip there, it would go from tusk lip straight to jowls. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. Whereas pot bellies, it's all in their skull structure, their nose. Usually a Vietnamese pot belly, their nose to their ear should not be more than um, four to six inches for boars and four inches for sows. And in the video here, it looks like his nose is super long, but that's that's really only a few inches. Um, I guess it's just the, what do you call it, the perspective. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Okay, Bordis, we don't need your nose in this. We're not doing guinea hogs, baby. Scoot your butt. No, Bordis. Bordis, you, you don't need to be in this video. Sorry. Our guinea hog, Bordis, decided he wants to be a star of the show here. Um, so anyway, Gus Gus, he is a purebred Vietnamese potbelly. But see how his face has the same amount of wrinkles as a coonie? But again, if you look at the pricked ears, if you look at the facial structure, um, the lack of waddles doesn't always mean it's not a coonie, and the, the fact of waddles doesn't always mean it's a purebred cootie. So please be careful with this, folks. If somebody crosses a purebred Vietnamese pot belly with a, hi, boing boing, you want to look up at mama? With a purebred coon coon, hi, bubbies, hi, you're so doing. 
they have the same skull structure. Coonies, um, when you process them, their skulls are a little wider. And that's about it, honestly, skull structure-wise. Um, oh, and with the teeth, coonies have um, flatter teeth, whereas pot bellies have pointier canines. Um, but yeah, don't get confused, folks. Uh, Vietnamese pot bellies are extremely different from Juliana's and are extremely different from Gloucester's and are extremely different from Red Waddles. And they are extremely different from, again, Juliana's. Or, hi, bling bling. Cooney coonies. Hi, bubbies. Hi, bubbies. All right, so, hi, guys, guys. That's a Vietnamese pot belly. All right, folks, I hope I was helpful. Have a great day. Happy Quack Farms.